Hello, my friends, blessings of peace on you, and welcome to this week's exclusive content because you're cool enough and New Year'sy enough to sign up for it at troybrewer.com. Thanks so much, man, for doing that. So the big news around here is that, uh, yeah, this coming 16th, which is just a little bit more than a week away, guys, we are going to be doing our 21st annual New Beginnings Conference. And I'm telling you right now, uh, I'm loaded for bear. I've been fasting my 10 day fast. And to tell you the truth, I'm actually filming this before the Thursday that it goes out. And at this point, I think I'm actually gonna extend my fast. And it's something I've been hearing. But I don't trust myself because the brother, the brother is hungry, okay? The brother is hungry. I have billions of fat cells that are crying out. What in the wide, wide world of sports are you doing? Um, like, and that's a good question. What am I doing? Why am I fasting? What's that all about? You know what? It's a prophetic marker. It's a prophetic appointment that I make with the Lord. And I do this every year. I like to fast the first 10 days of the year, every single year. And I cry out to God and I do that. You know, I have special times with my wife where I say, hey, let's just me and you get away together. And one of the things that I do whenever me and my wife get, whenever me and my wife get away together, if we go like to our favorite steakhouse or let's go to, man, we, we like really nice hotels. I, I just love fancy hotels and I like going to cool places and staying in cool hotels. That's one of my cool things I like to do. But I will actually decide before that date the things I'm going to talk to her about. I actually write down bullet points. These are things I want to talk to you about because I don't want to wander if I'm if we're sitting there eating on a steak and I'm talking or grappling about work or who I'm mad at or this bill I got to pay or can you believe this happened in a Walmart parking lot? Dude, that ain't nothing special. It's a special time. You do certain things. You talk about certain things. You love on each other in very specific ways. You know where I learned all that? I learned that from the Lord. And my 10 day fasting time at the beginning of the year is a prophetic anointing, is a prophetic appointment where God and I talk about very special things. One of the things I, one of the things I meet God and talk to him about at this time of year is my finances for the next year, a supernatural hedge of protection around me, the finances of all of my partners, my ministry partners that are helping me take on hell with the water pistol, boom, boom. Um, and then I specifically ask God, God, give me a word and give me a word for this next year. This year, on the Gregorian calendar, it's the year 2017. And 17 always marks overcoming victory. That's why there are 17 promises in the book of Revelation for him that overcomes. 17 of those. Um, 17, the 17th time that uh, David is mentioned, he's, it says that he had great victory. There's a whole bunch of those. 20 is the number that means expectancy. 20 is 2020. It means I saw it coming. I knew that that was going to happen. It's perfect vision. It's the number for expectancy. So I'm going to put this up on the screen. I want you guys just to look at this number. You see this? See that right there? That is a sermon. Yeah. 2017. 2017 is a sermon, man. And it literally means expecting to overcome. That's what it means. So that's a huge theme for this year. I've actually been looking at what are some things that I need to overcome? What are some things that God wants me to take on? What are some things I've been scared to take on? What are some things that I just put up with and I have just learned to live with? You know, we always, we always make fun of, uh, of the Israelites and like, instead of defeating their enemies, they just learned just to live with a bunch of them. And so they reproduced more enemies. That happens within all of our lives and it does. And we have to learn not to just put up and live with our enemies, but actually to overcome those enemies. Because if we don't, we will reproduce more enemies. And I'm certainly not talking about people. I'm talking about stuff that's within our life, guys, that needs to be dealt with. Um, but that's not the only prophetic year it is. It's also the year, look at this, 5777. Boom, 5777. Can you believe that? 5777. Okay, what is that? That's a Hebrew calendar. In the Hebrew calendar, it's the year 577. The Jews don't even say 5777 because they have to say five for a thousand years. They get a little bit lazy, so they just say, yeah, it's the year probably 777. That's an East Coast Jew, by the way. So that's what they do. They say it's the year 777. What does that mean? The Hebrew letter that represents the number seven because they don't have numbers. They don't use numbers. They use letters. If we didn't have numbers, we would say A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals C, and so on. It'd go up to 10, then it'd go 20, 30, 40, it'd go to 100, then it'd go 100, 200, 300, 400, all the way to 500. That's exactly the way that the Hebrews look at their numbers. So every single word 
is also a number. Now, every number is not a word, but every word is always a number. The word Jesus is the number 888. How cool is that? The word Christ is the number 555. How cool is that? And by the way, if you go to BibleGateway.com, you top off the word cross, it shows up 555 times in your face awesomeness. Now, the number 777, the letter, the Hebrew letter that represents a seven also has a little sword on it. And it's called the sword. And one of the things that prophetic people are saying right now that is huge, and I'm one of those prophetic people, is this is the year to this is the year of the sword. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Not only that, it's the year of three swords. That's 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 return on the word of God going forth this year. It's a tremendous prophetic year. And I'm going to give you one more really cool Hebrew calendar. It says it's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. It says that there's a time and a season for everything under heaven. And it starts off with a time to be born and a time to die. And it ends with a time of war and a time of peace. There are 28 of those, if you count it, or 14 pairs of two, all the way from Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 3 all the way to the end of it. Boom. And where are we at on this prophetic rotating timeline. I'm going to put those words up here right here. Prophetic rotating timeline. You have to understand that a lot of these timelines are not linear. Whenever it comes to the kingdom and whenever it comes to the Hebrew understanding, the Middle Eastern understanding, it's not linear. Whenever we look at our calendars, they're always in straight lines. We, we look at timelines as linear. The Jews do not look at it as linear. They actually look at it as circular. Right on. Something like uh, my good my good friend Ted Ted Van Landegrom he talks about it like a spring that that's moving forward. I don't know if any of you guys uh, saw the movie. Gosh, what was that movie uh, where the aliens came? Uh, oh my gosh, come on! It was out just just last month. It was such a great movie. Um, the Arrival. It was The Arrival. That's exactly right. And dude, I don't. Did you guys ever go see The Arrival? Oh, it was so good. It was like one of my favorite movies I saw all year. But the whole thing about that movie was these aliens show up and they're like, "Dude, you think in lines. You need to think in circles." And I was like, "Dude, that's such a kingdom word." And it's all about how the prophetic works. And actually, if you learn to think in circles in a movie, you can tell the future. That's what the whole thing is about. They're actually trying to teach Earth how to see what's coming, and you have to think of time in, in terms of circles. That's what the whole movie's about. Greatness. Love it. Okay, so Ecclesiastes chapter 3, where are we at on that timeline? We're at the very beginning. It started all over this year. I told you guys last year in 2016 in the year 5776 when I told you it's all about your 5 being greater than your 6. Yeah, I told you, hey, this is the very end, and there's some. this is the very end of the timeline. It's going to start all over again this year. This is a year, guys, has started over. It's the year of the three swords. It's the year of moving forward. It's the year of expecting great victory. This is a year of raw. This is the year of the comeback. Promise you that. And so it's a great year for you. Guys, look, I want to encourage you guys to come out to the New Beginnings Conference, and if you haven't already bought tickets, you can do so at troybrewer.com. And you're like, well, dude, I, I, can't, I can't go there. You don't got to go anywhere. You can sit at home and watch it in your drawers, man, because we have this for pay-per-view option. And I encourage you guys to go to get your tickets for the pay-per-view at troybrewer.com. Well, as always, we've uploaded a whole bunch of new videos at troybrewer.tv. And if you're not let, if you're not yet joined, troybrewer.tv. As a matter of fact, we, we just uploaded what conference did we upload? The women's conference. Guys, we uploaded the ladies' conference from December up on it. We also, uh, we also uploaded episode number two of Dreams and Mysteries. We actually uploaded 18 new videos on TroyBrewer.tv. All the cool kids are doing it. Go to TroyBrewer.tv. God bless you so much, guys. Bye-bye.